Hey guys, what's up Scorpio? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it out you need to. Also, remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Um, twice this month, I also I'm going to give away two free readings. So um, if you're interested in that, I'll just randomly announce it in the upcoming video. So just keep an eye out for that. If it does resonate and you'd like to donate to the channel, please make sure you hit that thanks button down there. All right. Well, it's kind of interesting energy. It kind of feels like a lot kept in that's caused a lot of anxiety. There's some type of opportunity here that uh, maybe wasn't taken on someone's side. But it's it's kind of like that was that was kind of kept itself. So it's I don't know if it was extremely apparent there. There's that four of cups, cancer energy, also the king of swords, which is um Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Give me one more for it. Shit, no, hold on. All right, I'll take that one because that's your energy. Uh, it's kind of a lax feeling. It's like the the cards are on the table, the cups are on the table type thing. Because with the uh, the Four of Cups here, that's Cancer Energy, somebody's kind of like either, this is a missed opportunity card. It's kind of like uh, somebody may not just be showing their emotions right now, showing their feelings. But you see for the outcome, the Queen of Cups, which is your energy, like that, that cup right there, it's still on the table. Something about this is still at play, but it doesn't feel like it's, like, like I said, obvious. Show me that King of Swords. So you could be dealing with the air sign. Um, yeah, this is somebody, the Nine of Swords, who may not just kind of be voicing their opinions right now, or their emotions, sorry. <clears throat> Pisces energy. Somebody is just sitting here stressing. Uh, with the hangman there. It, it's it's kind of like still holding on, maybe waiting, but you got this King of Swords energy very much wrapped in their head. This is somebody who's thinking very logically right now, the Seven of Wands. Somebody may be a little defensive or kind of want to, um, I mean, even communication could have got blocked. It feels like somebody wants to like stand their ground, but the Three of Swords, damn. This is somebody who's pretty hurt over here. It it doesn't look like they, they like kind of more so like just been waiting, just been hanging there. Maybe somebody had a change of perspective over here. But kind of a very guarded up uh, masculine energy. Very protective of heart, of self. Very educated, maybe more so business focused. But this person's hurt. They could be at a distance. Show me those four of cups. The two of cups. So it's like, okay. So with this type of energy, it's more like expecting or not really expecting, but kind of waiting for something to happen. But also with the four of cups, it's kind of like, you know, that doesn't always just fall in our lap type thing. This is a really withdrawn type energy. Kind of just stuck as, as like what to do next. Somebody's definitely in a very logical mindset right now. This definitely feels like the masculine energy. So we, give me one more for the Two of Swords. Um, it depends on how this is resonating. Because the Two of Swords, you know, uh, intuitively somebody could kind of be cut off. Uh, it may, you know, make sure communication is open, especially with like the heart chakra and stuff. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, see, this is more so like something that somebody really wants, but they're not sure how to go towards it. They're actually stressing and hurt. Show me this Queen of Cups for the outcome for Scorpio, please. The Seven of Cups. All right. Um, 
you're going to have some things to figure out. This is all around emotions, right? With the Seven of Cups, uh, uh, somebody definitely has you on the mind. But you have two cards here um, with the Hangman and the Seven of Cups that are kind of like, like this is a state of a whole lot of confusion. Show me one card for that Seven of Cups, please. The Six of Cups. You're on their mind like crazy. Um... This could be somebody that, like, you know, you develop, like, a good friendship with. With the high priestess there, you're incredibly intuitive. Uh, but I don't think this person just comes out, like, right away and tells you how they feel. Because they're definitely trying to approach the situation. Thinking about you, looking at your pictures. Yeah, they're going to come back to work on this. But it also feels like somebody may kind of bury their, their selves in their career in some situations. Um, instead of just going straight towards it, yeah, still holding on to hope. This this energy over here will change. There could be children involved, but you're definitely um on their mind, still holding on to the hope, to the possibilities, to the feelings. Like I said, the cup's still on the table. Alright, Scorpio, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.